I've heard of dementia, yes, but not too sure what it's all about. It's like a disease which affects your memory. I don't really know what dementia is, no. It can be quite scary for some people. Um, they can forget main people in their lives, places. That's kind of all I know about it. Forgetting people's names and things like that. Um, just forgetting things about life, really, like how to do stuff. And... Well, they'd forget like certain things make it harder to remember people's names and stuff. Uh, not really, no. Probably very like frustrated with themselves. Um, that probably sounds quite hard, yeah. All I can think of is that it would be scary, but for them, I'm, I'm not too sure if they know that they have it or anything to do with that, so. I've realised that there's a lot more to it than just forgetting simple stuff. It's, it can affect how people see you as a person. Well, I realised how many people actually have it. There's lots more than I um, first knew. Um, I thought there was only a few people, like maybe one in a hundred people would have it, but there's actually like hundreds of thousands of people have it in the UK. I've learned that it affects a lot more uh, of you as a person, like it can change you completely, like because you can't remember how to do simple things, you can't remember like people's names and things like that. I've realised that it's not as easy as just, oh, I don't know where this is. It's like, you, I, I understand that they're more self-conscious about how people think for them, so I would definitely try and be nicer and try and talk as clear as I could, really. Well, it would make you really frustrated with yourself and it makes them forget things and it would probably make them feel really angry that they can't remember stuff. It would make them feel like maybe unwanted or unloved and things like that. I, and if you were like in that position, you'd probably feel very sad and like maybe a bit stupid sometimes. For all I know, it could happen to anybody. Um, and it's as long as you're aware of people around you. People who are in groups could go off laughing about this woman who doesn't know where keys are, but in reality, she has no clue. If you meet someone who's confused on um, in Bangor or wherever, um, then and they're a bit confused, you'd be able to help them. Whereas if you didn't know about the disease, um, you maybe wouldn't help stop to help them. You just think they're being a wee bit weird. Yeah, because then they can understand, like a person with dementia if they meet one and like they will know how to deal with them.